seconds into Joel Faraby. Faraby will fire the save. It bounces high, and a whistle stops oh. play. A whistle stops play. The referee lost sight of the puck. Oh. It was in the air, lands near the net, put in, but the referee, I believe it was Kelly Sutherland, lost sight and blew it dead early. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. I mean, this puck looked like it was gonna be trouble the whole way through when it was up in the air, and wow. the official lost sight of the puck. I mean, now, this on. is incredible. The officials are getting together here. I suppose they could rule that the whistle wouldn't have affected that the puck ended up in the net. Looks as though they're gonna at least talk to right. the situation room. But, but I don't think it went in directly into the air. I think it, it got hit after the fact, which I don't think there's anything they can do to fix the situation. But to me, Kelly Sutherland, he botched this one. I mean, he has no idea where the puck is. Well, see if it goes directly in off once it lands on the ice. No, it goes off of Joel Faraby. But consider the fact that if the whistle doesn't blow, the puck hits Joel Faraby and it would be in play. Charlie Lindgren has no idea where the puck is. This is a huge miss by the officials, and I don't think there's any recourse in, in, in this play that you can take it back. It's just an unfortunate mistake. Well, they are going to talk it over. I, I just don't know what they could possibly fix, though, here, JJ. I mean, I, I it's one thing if it goes up in the air, down hits the ice, right. and goes into the net, but it does hit Farabee on the way down. So Farabee wants to know. Eric Furlat, the other referee working the game. I'll give a, another look from the wide angle. Of course, up where we are, we saw the puck was up in the air, but Sutherland thought it was Lindgren who had control of it. See how it goes off of Farabee? Even Joel had no idea where the puck was. Uh, Tortorella took a look and said, look, that puck was going in anyhow. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I got to be honest with you. I, I mean, I'm, I, the fact that they're talking to the situation room is positive. It's positive, but yes. I find it hard to believe that you could have a continuous play and the puck hit another player and not go straight into the net. If this puck goes directly into the net, it goes off his glove, but it was unintentional. And so then that, off that was, of Lindgren. And then off of Lindgren. I tell you, I, I would be surprised. I have not seen a play like this. So it would be something that would be new to me. The only way they could say is that that would have happened had the whistle not blown, that it would have hit Farabee and then Lingard. I don't know how you can make that judgment because the players let up as soon as they hear the whistle. They let up, but I, I still don't think Farabee knew where the puck was, nor did John Carlson. If you watch Carlson and Farabee, they have no idea where the puck is. It just, it just happens to hit Joel and go in the net. Yeah, well, Joe doesn't know until right now it's in the net. Maybe there's a chance here. I I wish I could give you more. I mean, I, I just, I would think it would have to be the puck goes directly in the net from in the air and not off of a player. That's where I'm a little bit fuzzy yeah. on, on. Well, I would think what here, it would be. no matter what they decide, you're gonna have a very upset team because it would have gone in, there's no doubt, but clearly, the whistle had blown, so. The whistle blows right about here, right? Yeah. And then yeah, you can see Kelly Sutherland in the corner. I'll try to give you an audio and visual. Oh, hold on, I might have a decision oh, let's here. let hope from, this is good news. It's gonna be Kelly Sutherland delivering the news. After video review, it's determined the play is dead. The puck hits the Philadelphia player. It is not the continuous shot, therefore no. I think they got it right on the review. Kelly Sutherland got it wrong, obviously, by blowing the whistle. Correct. But I, I, to give this goal would have been a bit of a reach, I think. Well, like I said, the continuous play is that the puck would go directly into the net off of the initial shot. That's where it can, it can be allowed. But once it hits Joel Farabee, that's when the play becomes non-continuous. Unfortunate, it is the wrong call in the sense that Sutherland blew the whistle, but he lost sight of it. And, and the officials are trained that if they lose sight of the puck, they are to blow the whistle. It's a tough break for the Flyers. Going to have to find a way to battle through it.